Gummy worms are one of the most popular types of gummy candies. They're often sour and come in a variety of colors. The German candy company Haribo first invented gummy worms in the early 1980s. The process. Sour gummy worms manufactured in factories follow a multi-step process. First, the sweet gummy base of the candy is created through a process called compounding, which involves mixing water, gelatin powder, corn syrup, and sugar. The hot liquid mixture is then poured into starch molds and allowed to cool for a period of time. Once cooled, the gummy candies are removed from the molds and filled into starch line trays. The filled trays are then packaged, often with updated packaging designs. The Origin The original gummy worm was only available in two flavors, raspberry and apple. Gummy worms come in a variety of colors and flavors. The most popular flavors are sour cherry, sour raspberry, and sour grape. As of 2018, gummy worms are the second most popular type of gummy candy in the United States, behind the obvious gummy bears. Sour gummy worms are one of the most popular types of candy out there, and while they may seem like they have a simple recipe, there's a lot that goes into making these tasty treats. The Ingredients Sour gummy worms are made from a variety of different ingredients, including sugar, corn syrup, gelatin, citric acid, and various flavorings. The exact recipe varies from manufacturer to manufacturer, but the overall composition of the candy is similar. Gummies are made primarily from corn syrup, sucrose, gelatin, starch, and water. Food acids like citric and malic are also added to give the gummy worms a sour taste. It often happens that instead of gelatin, other gelling agents are used to make fondant suitable for vegans or vegetarians, such as starch and pectin. The sugar and corn syrup are combined and heated until they form a sticky syrup. Gelatin is then added to the mixture and stirred until it is completely dissolved. Citric acid is added for tartness and then the flavorings are added in. Gummy worms are made from a type of gelatin called pectin. Pectin is a natural polymer that's derived from plants. Gummy worms are typically made by combining pectin with sugar, corn syrup, and flavorings. The mixture is then cooked until it forms a gel. Once all the ingredients are combined, the mixture is poured into molds in the shape of worms. The molds are then refrigerated until the gummy worms are solidified. The step-by-step -step process. The first step is to make the gummy base. This is done by heating sugar and corn syrup until it forms a thick liquid. Then, gelatin is added to the mixture and is cooked until it becomes solid. This whole process requires a lot of attention as the ratio can't be messed with. Even a minor mistake can end up spoiling the whole batch. These gummy candies are to be made from scratch and for that, Proper and fresh ingredients are a must. Without that, they might not turn into an edible product at all. Once the gummy base is made, it's put into a mold in the shape of a worm. Then the mold is put into a freezer so that the gummy can solidify. The freezing temperatures are set by taking note of the overall temperature of the place and the time duration needed for them to prepare. This process can't be rushed and it needs to take its course. The base isn't the only part that requires much care, though. The whole procedure from heating the sugar to packaging needs to be hygienic as well as efficient at the same time. Once the gel has cooled, it is cut into worm shapes and coated with sugar. The cutting part might be the easiest and the quickest as the whole process is overseen by machines and is well-oriented in terms of efficiency. The taste is added. Dusty gummy worms are coated with sour sugar through a process called sugar milling. From the sieve, the gummy worms are directed onto a mesh platform and onto a chamber where they are exposed to brief bursts of steam. This segment of the process is done very quickly as the machines cut the big logs of candies into small worm-like pieces which are already programmed into them. The sugar coating process, although done by machines, needs humans to be checked and managed. Since the proportions and quantity of each candy needs to be just perfect, it would maintain its sweet yet sour flavor. Once the gummy is solid, it is time to add the sour coating. This is done by mixing sugar and citric acid. 
Then the gummy worm is dipped into the sour coating and allowed to dry. And that's it. Once the sour coating is dry, your sour gummy worm is complete and ready to be enjoyed. Although the process is not complete yet, we can see how these tiny gummy worms look so delicious as well as eye-pleasing. There's no doubt it takes a lot of hard work to get this end product, but it seems worth all the production process. The Hygiene The most important part of this process is making sure that people don't get sick when they eat sour gummy worms. To do this, factory workers make sure that they use clean hands when they're handling the product and also make sure that they wash their hands before going on break or after using the bathroom. Even though there's very less human interaction, companies can't afford any hygiene problems in the factory, so very strict rules are set and all the workers must adhere to them. Hygiene is of the utmost importance when it comes to making of gummies in factories. The sugar, citric acid powder, or oil coatings are the finishing touch for a range of gummies, yet they can present a host of problems, especially when it comes to health and safety in the workplace. Hence, the starchless depositing process is the most hygienic when producing gummies, as it has a shorter drying period and can be processed more quickly. Moreover, a pilot study was carried out to evaluate the influence of various commercially used sweeteners for gummy bear manufacturing, while a nutritional evaluation was also considered. Furthermore, the maker of gummy worm candies mostly uses the molding process to produce their iconic gummies, and this form of gummy is also highly hygienic. Therefore, when it comes to the production of gummies in factories, hygiene is always taken into account to guarantee a safe product. The Packaging The gummy worms are typically packaged in bags or containers. The machines are in charge of this process as they swiftly move trays filled with gummy worms through the belt and put a pre-approved quantity in a bag. The bag's then sealed and sent up for further branding and logo stamping. Once the package is ready, they are then put in cabins made of glass and are properly sanitized so that they would maintain proper hygiene. The Quality Check These gummies go through a lot of processing and multiple checks before they're distributed to retailers. The whole process is quite hectic and very time-consuming. However, to serve the customers these very tasty and sour gummy worms, companies go through all these procedures so they can come up with the best product in the whole market. When the executives are happy with the quality, these gummy worms are then shipped to stores, where they're sold to people like you who love these sour bites. Well, that was it. That's the whole process of how sour gummy worms are made. From the base to the packaging, we've discussed everything. Although it looks like a lengthy process, since there are many machines involved in the process, the whole procedure finishes quite smoothly and timely as well. Click on one of the two videos on your screen right now. We'll catch you guys in the next one.